Good day, and welcome to another episode of Masonic Curious. This episode is going to be a little bit different than the normal that we present you a couple of pieces uh, and tell you what it is. Uh, this is more on uh, what we don't do. Um, now, my Masonic friends all know that uh, I hold Masonic artifacts extremely dearly to heart. Uh, I probably place Masonic artifacts higher than Freemasonry itself. I have done so for almost 35 years now. I think they're a fascinating item. Uh, in each piece there is history, and in each piece there is a story. Just like our motto, preserving our past through storytelling, every Masonic piece has a story. It may be good, it may be bad. But today I have brought two pieces here for you today. Not so much to talk about them, but to prove a point. Now in the last number of years, the internet has gone crazy with items being sold and a number of sites uh, coming, uh, up <clears throat> coming up and on the web uh, of us selling uh, Masonic items. Uh, there is the Masonic uh, Antiques and Collectors, site by Carl Hearn, and Brother Carl, you're doing a great job. There is Masonic Buy and Sell, there is Masonic Auctions, there is a number of websites, and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, selling our Masonic, what I like to call junk, uh, is something not new. Uh, Masonic stuff has been sold for well over a hundred years at auction. Um, so again, this is not something new that has just recently come up with the internet. But when I see someone like an individual who may be a non-Mason or a Mason selling something, and then I see someone writing in or posting that, hey, you know, we shouldn't be selling our history. We shouldn't be selling that. Or, you know, remember your obligation. Well, that should go back to the lodge. Well, you know, as a Freemason and as a past master, I do agree with you. I believe a lot of things should go back to the lodges, and it really breaks my heart when I see a for sale, say, Masonic Lodge columns, uh, when other lodges could use them, uh, especially here at Cambridge. Uh, Masonic minute books, treasurer's ledgers, uh, past master's jewels, uh, regalia, such as our officer's columns, stuff like that, I believe should go back to the lodges. But, we can't always return everything. Also, believe it or not, some lodges don't want the junk. Also, have you ever really taken the time to look around your own Masonic building? Now, John did an episode a little while ago talking about various meadows and stuff that came back to him to the Aleppo Shrine Museum, which I think is a great idea that some of these did come back. And I know some of them from time to time do come back to the lodges. But let me ask you this. What is a lodge going to do with three or four hundred Master Mason certificates? They're not going to get them all framed. They're not going to be able to display them. What happens to them, and I'll tell you why, is they go into a box, they get put into a shelf or into a room, they're forgotten about for the next 25 years until the Masonic Lodge comes by and then cleans house. And then someone looks in the box, says, oh, we don't need these, and they get thrown away. Now, you may think I'm making that up, but that's the truth. We are our own worst enemies. We do a really, can I say crappy? Sure. We do a really crappy job, for the most part, preserving our own fragile history. And if we're going to attack our own brethren, or in some cases the general public, for selling things like this online, I think we need to start in the inner. We need to work at home first. Not to be so much worried about who's selling what. But let's make sure we do not sell our own stuff. That we keep our own junk. That we if we don't have room for it, spread it out to others to enjoy. They are an excellent 
example of PIA, not owned to the general public, but to the craft. Now, many of you have not been in the fraternity as long as I have. And me doing this for 35 years, I'm probably done this longer than some of you were born. But how many were ever told when you first joined Freemasonry about the Shriners? Or well, the order of reason stopped. How about Job's daughters? Or the Hibbillies? What about the Ark Mariners? So what's a Bunker Hill? How about the York Rite or Scottish Rite? And that within the Scottish Rite, there are three separate bodies. I bet you some of you didn't know about that. Well, how about the cl clown unit up at the shrine? Okay. Or how about the White Shrine of Jerusalem or the Order of Amorath? These are all Masonic bodies and all part of our fraternity. Now, I brought here two items today. Uh, basically to show that what happens. Now, it's great that items get returned back to the lodges. I really push that. I would love to see stuff come in, but as a curator and a collector, I applaud the stuff being put on the market. It gives me the chance, or gave me the chance, to show the membership the different bodies of Freemasonry and all the great pieces that have been made. Um, there are some beautiful collections out there in private hands and I would recommend that hey guys you with the collections get out to your lodges bring them to lodge show them around even if you don't do it during a meeting put a table up hallway and show your stuff up educate okay that's the main thing educate the uneducated or the unenlightened now first thing Anybody recognize this? This is an altar set for a council of royal and select master masons. Now, this council merged a number of years ago. And as protocol, items from one body that is merging goes to the body that is taking over them. That's what happens with our regalia. Or supposedly, the individual who's supposed to have taken this stuff, I guess, didn't want this to go and kept it. But he should have informed his family because this is not his property. This is the property of the other council. And it should have come back home if it wasn't going to get there to, origi to its original uh, location. But the individual passed away. Now, whether or not he did tell his family or his family just ignored his wishes, it was put up on eBay. eBay. Luckily, a good friend of mine from Rhode Island saw it, purchased it, and through a financial agreement, I was able to procure this set, and it has come back home. It will now go into the hands of Cambridge Royal Arch Chapter, which will be safely kept and preserved. And hopefully, they will use it from time to time. But that's one piece here. The other, how many of you ever dumpster dived? But you, many of you haven't. I have. Here's a piece right here. Now, I didn't get this piece from the dumpster, but that's where it came from. That's right, folks. This is a Masonic piece that was thrown away. So for all those who say, stuff should come back to the largest, and then what? thrown away in the dumpster. Is that what we're talking about? Again, we are our own worst enemies. Now, I won't mention where this came from, won't mention what state, but a lodge did move out of their building and from time to time that happens. Many times they leave everything behind. That is a waste. But I guess they didn't want to take this with them and along with some other items, were thrown into the dumpster. Luckily, a picker came by. He dumpster dived, saved this piece, put it up on eBay, and a Masonic history geek like myself came along, saw it, knew what it was about, knew the importance of it, and bought it. 
and through he and his Masonic Lodge, donated it to his Masonic building, which is still sits in the east, right back here, and it is still used today by the various masters during the degree work, which talks about the beehive. And the beehive is one of the most important emblems of Freemasonry, even though many don't think so. It has a great line that I love. And he that so demean himself as not to be endeavoring to add to the common stock of knowledge or understanding, be deemed a drone of the hive of nature, a useless member of society. Guys, we need to educate ourselves. We need to start from within. We need to start at home. Educate. That's the key thing. With that, I want to thank you very much. I know I got onto my uh, soapbox once again, but uh, my fellow uh, crew know that I do pull it out once in a while and uh, like to make a speech. But with that, I thank you very much. I hope you learned something. I hope you guys get out there who are collectors and start educating. We need that. Give us a thumbs up and continue watching the show. Thank you.